An 83-year-old Indianapolis man is hoping to recover financially after a surprise attack outside of his apartment. Now, he's a little embarrassed about his attackers, but he wants people to plea, please be aware. Now, this took place on Tuesday afternoon in the 1200 block of North Belmont. And tonight, he's telling his story to our crime beat reporter, Steve Jefferson. The victim in this case says he's lived here on North Belmont for about 30 years and had no idea that the two women outside his apartment would turn out to be so violent. Both of them popped me in the chin and popped me down and I lost the fight. Ronald Bell got the surprise of his life Tuesday afternoon in his quiet neighborhood. He lives across the street from Wendell Phillips Elementary School on North Belmont. Two women approached Bell at the front door of his apartment as he searched frantically for his door key. And she said, give her a dollar. And I blew my stack and said, you got the nerve to stand up here? I can't get in my house. I locked myself out of my house. I can't get in my house. And you want me to give you a dollar? And then she punched me and knocked me down. And the other one jumped on her. Bell says the attack caught him completely off guard. The two against one advantage allowed the women to knock him to the ground. They rolled me over, took my bill phone, and took off. The women stole his $400 rent check and about $140 in cash. Although the women didn't hurt him physically, they did bruise his ego a little bit. The two of them knocked me down and they weren't men. And that didn't make me feel too good either because I lost the fight. The two women. Bell made sure his new set of keys fit so he can always lock up for safety. The 83-year-old is also working on replacing several things like his driver's license stolen during the robbery. And even when it comes to opening his front door. I look out the window all the time now. Since the women did not cover their faces during the robbery, Mr. Bell says he would probably recognize them again, but hopes not to see them in the neighborhood anytime soon. On the Crime Beat, Steve Jefferson, Channel 13 Eyewitness News.